Cancer, welcome into your money and your career reading for November 2023, just before moving into Christmas. What an important time to know what's going on with the finances. So let's get into this for you and find out exactly what is happening with regards to your money, your career. We're going to look at each one separately. And as we go out of the reading, I'm going to ask Spirit Guide just to advise you about anything. It might have to do with situations happening in your career or money or something even completely different, which may surprise you. I was pretty surprised with the previous reading. An extra separate message came through. So that can happen for you too. Let's get into this for you. I'm going to call in your spiritual team. To please come into my spirit room and guide me in this reading. Speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. And show me clearly what it is I need to see. For the highest good for everyone who is watching. So let's get into this for you, my beautiful Cancers. What do we need to know with regards to money, with regards to your career moving into December now, December, November. Let's get into this for you for November, money and career spirit guide for my Cancers who are watching. Let's have a look and see what's going on for you. Whoa, with regards to money, hello, hello, we've got miracles, ancient wisdom coming in here, what a shift you are going to have in November with regards to money, my mind is blown, this is a beautiful energy, oh my goodness, what is it that you need a miracle in? And I heard somebody going, everything, Deborah, everything. Okay, so a miracle is coming specifically with regards to finances here. And it's like something is about to be solved. I've got two cards that I noticed. Okay, so one card is a two of wands that has fallen down. And one card is a high priestess. There has been a situation here where it seems like you have to make a decision about something. Um, this is a two of wands. It means either a partnership between you and another person may be parting ways, or it means that um, you're parting ways with something, a part that you're currently on. And you might have to make some kind of decision here with regards to are you going to go this way or are you going to go this way? Are you going to remain where you are? Or are you going to move on? But apparently you need a miracle. And this could be also why you need to make this decision. You might be thinking, should I, money is just not enough here. So I, do I stay where I am? Do I leave? Do I change direction? What do I do? I've got a choice to make and I'm not really sure. You can see you're not sure because of the high priestess coming in here. The high priestess energy is about faith. It's about the unknown. It's about the mystery of life. It's about even being afraid of the unknown. Because the high priestess is everything that's got to do with esoteric um, knowledge. It's got to do with um, uh, supernatural things. It's got to do with what you do not see. And it can also have to do with the future that you do not see. Because the high priestess can even be associated to a tarot reader or um, a person who can see the future. Somebody who can see what others do not see. And you might be asking yourself, if I make this decision... Is it going to be the right decision? And you may even be holding back a little bit from making this decision because you're afraid if you go and change something here, or if even if you don't change something, maybe you remain where you are, it's a mistake. So it's like, kind of like, I'm not really sure what I need to be doing here. But what I can pick up on this, because you're going to get some clarifiers out, it might help you um, to get more clarity. Um, a miracle is going to take place for you here. And with the ancient wisdom, isn't it interesting? On the oracle card, we've got the high priestess. And the high priestess being something like a witch or a shaman or a high priestess um, works in esoteric, which is ancient knowledge. Witches are keepers of knowledge. That's what we are. And so this energy does come up almost as you actually, you're going to be knowing the right decision to make. Okay, so let's get in here and have a look and see what is going on with this. 
Okay, so a card has fallen, fallen down. It is about money because you've got the King of Pentacles. You're trying to make a decision about your long-term future here. That is above the Two of Wands. So it's kind of like you're saying, how, what decision do I make here with regards to the future? What do I do here? How do I secure my long-term stability financially? So let's have a look and see on the High Priestess. What do we got going? Navy Spirit Guide will show us something here, okay, with regards to a choice that you need to make. Or it might even come up with regards to career as well. It might show us more information. Okay, the top card is about your family. They say both cards. Okay, so we're going to go here. We've got the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands. You're doing this for yourself. That's my daughter. Sorry, she's coming back home. She always comes at this time when I'm busy um, with a little carry bag from school. It's rolling across the ground. So, yeah, apologies. That is my daughter coming in. Children come up with a six of cups, okay? So that is what you're trying to do to protect your children's future. And if you don't have children, it's your own future. Because you, even though you don't have a child, but you have an inner child that needs to be taken care of, you see. And then you've got a six of wands rocking up with it that fell out together so i'm going to go with it um the six of wands showing something happening here where you're going to be getting noticed for something that you're doing where you finally get what you want look he's carrying a little mouse in his in his mouth there so he got what he wanted so that is the miracle that you are seeking so something is going to happen here where i feel like it's going to be shown to you you're going to receive the miracle you are looking for so let's get into your career. Maybe we'll get some more, inf more information out here as to how this may occur for you or even in the advice coming in from Spirit Guide. So first of all, career, show me clearly what I need to see. All right, a card is sticking out way too much. Um, sacred purpose. Wow. Okay, I got you. Um, eternal flame, ancestral legacy. I think I understand where your fork road is lying. I feel like there is something here with regards to what you do for a living um, that's calling you. I feel like you've got a dream or a goal and you feel like it's something that you're supposed to be doing. That's your sacred uh, purpose. Okay, that's why it's coming up here. Ancestral legacy, eternal flame, what's burning inside of you. Maybe what has your your family has been doing the same thing for some of you. It's something that is in your energy. So you could be feeling as if you want to follow your path, your dream, your goal, what it is you want to try to create. That could be your fork road. But the main problem is you could be saying to yourself, okay, so I'm in this dead-end job, okay, and I want to follow my dream of being a singer, example. I want to be a musician. Okay, I'm very talented. My mom was talented. My dad was talented. We sang in the choir. Oh my goodness. And I just don't know if I'm going to be able to make money from this. Will I be able to long term support me and my, or myself or my family? So is it the right thing for me to do? Let's have a look and see. This is so interesting. You've got a four of wands. And you've got a strength card. Yo, I am just saying. My goodness, yes. Yes, it is. If you follow what is your sacred purpose here, you will enter a new cycle in your life where it will be the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is your 11-11 card, new cycle beginning. It will change the way you live. It will change how you, what you do every day. And you will be very, very good at it. With the strength card coming, you got Leo. You will be very good at it. You will be very good at it. You will overcome any problems you will face on the way to creating this life. And it will be a whole new life for you. Mm. This. That's why that card came up. The Six of Wands can sometimes mean standing out in the crowd. It can mean also what lies inside. The energy of what's the truth in you. Mm, this is something else. This reading. Wow, Cancer. Whoa, you have a sacred purpose here. There is definitely something you're meant to be doing. Give me more information here, please, Spirit Guide. 
Let's have a look at the Four of Wands and the Strength card. Let's get some clarifiers out. We have got the Nine of Wands. You're so afraid. Okay. And the Eight of Swords. You are so afraid to go for this. You are so afraid to go for this. Your fear. It's just, just, I'm so afraid. I need to protect myself. I want to. I want to step into this new cycle, but it's so scary. Look how these wands are there to protect you. But yet, yeah, you see the wands again, but there's an opening there and you can go right through, you know. And then the Eight of Swords is there. I feel the fear of going for what you want, you know. It's what is making you feel like you're stuck. It's, what ma it's what's making you not take any action towards it. And that does align with the Strength card. The Strength card is the strongest thing in the Tarot, meaning that it will be overcome. You will deal with anything that you face and you will overcome it on this journey. Let's get Spirit Guide to give you some advice with regards to this. I know it's not easy to go for what you want, to follow your dream and your heart, because when you're facing reality out there and you're like, wow, I just stepped out of my job, you know what I mean? And I'm going to go out there now and I'm going to go follow something I've never done before. It can be scary. Okay, so let's go. But you must remember something. Um, other people have done it. I did it. Um, I've got children that I take care of. There's no support coming in from anywhere. It's just me and my children. Um no father, no mom and dad, you know, it's just me. So it was difficult at times and I faced where things didn't want to go. It, that reality happened and you sit there going, what am I going to do? And you know what? You do find out that you're stronger than what you think. And sometimes you go through hard things, but you overcome them and you break that and you open where you thought you couldn't open, it opens for you. But it takes you to have great strength. And sometimes you only realize how strong you are when you are facing things that are blocked for you. Then you find out how strong you are. But when you come out of it on the other side, you actually look back and go, damn, <laughs> I'm so strong. I can't believe I just did that. Wow. Wow. So let's go in here and have a look and see. This is so interesting. Let's go in here and have a look and see. Other people are doing it, lots. Many people are independent and they're doing it. They're following their heart and their dream. We're moving into a new time. Okay, so let's get Spirit Guide advice out for you. This reading is so beautiful, Cancer. Um, Dragonfly Spirit, truth transcends illusion. The miracle on that side is all. What a beautiful reading. Meaning. The illusion, the illusion is what you do not see coming. The illusion is the fear that you have about the unknown future. Because the illusion is what you think could happen if you pursue something that's in your heart. That's a calling. So you're just sitting here thinking, okay. If I go down this path and I follow this dream, what if absolutely everything goes wrong and I can't pay my bills, I can't look after my children, I can't do A, B, and C, and it's bad? That's the illusion because it doesn't exist. It's only existing currently in your mind. Because you can't take me to that place where all of those things have happened. You can't take me there. If you say, I'm worried, I'm worried that I can't pay the bills, I'm worried that I can't feed my kids, I'm worried that this will happen and that will happen and that will happen. Oh my God, what do I do? And then it's like, okay, you're worried about those things. All right. But as you know, it's not real. But what if, okay, if, it, if it's, you feel like it's something that can happen, take me by the hand and take me there and show me where it's happening. It's, it's not there. It's an illusion. It doesn't exist. It's all in the fantasy of the mind. That's creating out of fear. And then the truth is what really happens when you really see it. Okay. And that's where you got to operate from. Because fear will keep you stranded. Fear will keep you from never changing. And Dragonfly Spirit as well, it's all about enlightenment, change, um, spirituality, growth, leveling up. The Dragonfly Spirit is truly an energy of enlightenment. 
Okay, so that's why it says truth transcends illusion, enlightenment, to wake up and see reality as it truly is. Um, let's have a look and see. Got two cards coming out here. Got a king of cups, a king of cups, and a knight of cups. Whoa! <laughs> if you had to follow your heart, the knight of cups is action getting taken by you. That's about your emotion. That's about your heart. If you had to follow your heart, you will find your heart's content with the king of cups. Meaning if you follow what your heart and soul is telling you, if you follow what you want, what you love, your passion, which literally shows up there as an eternal flame in the sacred purpose, and that's the calling of the sacred purpose, you will find yourself in the King of Cups, the place that you want to be in. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Doing what you want. Loving the life that you're experiencing. This is so Beautiful. I am just saying. Let's see what's going on here. Some clarifiers, please. We have got the Eight of Wands and we've got the Five of Pentacles. These cards come up together as advice. What you are worrying about here with regards to the money is what you're trying to make a decision about. And it's also what you're afraid of. Because if you make the decision to try to solve what is this energy, you're afraid that it doesn't go your way and you face something financially crippling for you. And then you've got the card up here that says a miracle. A miracle. It didn't show up here as card number one that I took out. I feel if you had to follow your heart, because this card comes above this, right? It comes like this. Here's your clarifier. If you follow your heart, it will, it will speed events up. It will make something happen so quickly. And what it will make happen is the lack of finances that you are currently having will change into a way you are living scarcity here, where money is not enough, where you're in fear, where you're in lack. It will so quickly change that you will be in a place in your life where you are finally feeling free and feeling happy. But it takes bravery. It takes what? Strength to truly go for what you want. And it takes tr trusting, faith in the unknown future, that it will unfold the way that you want it to. This reading is really amazing. There we go. Thank you so much, Cancer, for being here. I hope this one helps you and guides you. Follow your heart. I will see you guys next time. Bye.